there you go. So the lighting's pretty good here. I trained legs with Nat today uh, from Boyd and Brenda, and uh, she's a hard hard worker. Like she's got solid work ethic when she trains, which is really good. I don't like training with people that stuff around. Um, I take my training very very seriously, like a, another job. And uh, same thing with my nutrition and my sleep and that sort of thing. I treat it like a job, and I really do believe that you have to if you want to get the most out of it. Um, obviously, within reference and within reason to everything else that's in your life and it's going to be different for each person but yeah for me i treat it like a job um and yeah it was really really good to train with her we did legs we did a hamstring glute focus leg session i still got one more leg session for the week which is more quad focused has a little bit of glutes in there but predominantly quad focus that'll be on saturday and i might be doing that at powerhouse gym in south side i'm currently just over four weeks out from my first uh, bodybuilding show and just over five weeks out from my second bodybuilding show. So first bodybuilding show is gonna be the uh, Queensland titles, which is the state titles for the state that I live in on the 16th of April from 10 a.m. at the Sleeman Sports Complex in Chandler. If you do wanna come watch it, if you live in the area, uh, definitely recommend it. It's gonna be a lot of cool competitors there. Whether you come to support me or just come to check out the venue and the event, uh, definitely think it's a good idea, especially if you have some sort of interest in bodybuilding. Uh, we'll just appreciate the human body for what it is. Tickets are on sale, I believe, now on the website. So go on to the IPB Australia website, you can purchase tickets for the state titles. So I started prep in late November last year of 2021. My average calories were 4,200 calories per day. My average meal over nine sites were just shy of 60 mils, so quite high. And uh, we're now 16th of March, 2022. My average calorie intake is 2,600 calories. That's uh, after you average out the high days and the low days. And my average meals over nine site is just under 37 mil now. So a substantial drop in total meals from just under 60 mil to just under 37 mil throughout the course of this prep so far. Still got another four to five weeks, bit over that, bit over four, bit over five weeks, depending on which comp you're talking about to go uh, prep. So plenty of time to dial things in a little bit more uh, as as we get nearer and nearer to show. Uh, we're starting to practice different high and low day approaches to figure out the best way to carve me up for, for our peak week though. So that's starting to get exciting. But the last couple of weeks have been really aggressive in terms of the push. Um, calories got lowered quite substantially. So they're sitting on an average of about 3,500 to 3,000 calories per day per week up until about two to three weeks ago. and then saw a massive dip down to about 2,600 calories on average per day. I'm gonna do one more aggressive push for the next week and then start to titrate things back up, provided that the rate of progress is consistently uh, occurring at the, the current rate that it is. We're currently on track, which is good to hear. Everything's in single digits, well in single digits. Most things are close to three, four mil over the body sites, that sort of thing. In terms of body weight though, I started prep at an average of 100, and 4.4 kilo. And I'm currently, and yet this now I'm an average of 104.9 kilo. But obviously my skin folds, my body fat has dropped substantially in that time. So I actually grew at the beginning of prep and then as calories started to get dropped more and more aggressively, I started to finally drop weight. Um, but I was losing body fat the entire time, mind you, but I was also building muscle. I was building more muscle than I was losing fat mass at the beginning of prep, which is why my weight was gradually titrating up, even though I was losing body fat. It's just the rate of muscle growth that was occurring was greater than the rate of fat loss that was occurring. And then as the calorie deficit got more aggressive and as I kind of like got more and more calories pulled away, while activity was not staying the same, we started to see that shift in the ratio of muscle growth rate and, and fat loss rate. So we're starting to see that progressive decline in body weight again. Because uh, body weight got all the way up to an average of 109 kilos in prep. All the way up to 109-ish, and then all the way back down to 104.9 kilo on average this week so far. And we're only halfway through the week, it's Wednesday, so it could get even lower by the end of the week, the average that is. So in terms of side effects I've noticed, I haven't really felt overly hungry. I felt lethargic the last few weeks, definitely. My cognitive ability has substantially declined the last few weeks. Um, my ability to obviously like form coherent sentences is more challenging. I run out of energy sooner during the day, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to really point out is I don't think I would have been able to grow into the show like I did. Uh, and it's not just the super subs guys. I want to make that very clear. Like just if you take super subs, you're not going to just grow in a deficit or, or even grow in a surplus if things everything else isn't dialed in too. Like I've really dialed in my training, I've really dialed in my nutrition, I've really dialed in 
not, not just like hitting my calories and macros, but getting quality foods, getting a lot of micronutrient rich foods, and then supplementing the deficiencies in my diet with vitamins and minerals that I am no longer able to get due to my lower calorie intake. I've really dialed in my sleep this prep and that's something that I've always struggled with my entire life because I had insomnia as a kid, that sort of thing. And somewhere in my early 20s, I learned how to sleep really well. But as my schedule got busier and busier, as I became self-employed several years ago, working as a coach, and obviously as I've gotten more and more involved, taking more things onto my plate, studying uh, pre-med at university, um, working full-time as an online coach, starting uh, to use YouTube consistently, like I am now. My, my schedule's obviously gotten substantially busier, notably busier, and that's obviously had an impact or a hindrance on how much time I have available to sleep and and wind down before bedtime. So it's progressively become more and more difficult uh, in the last few years for me to get adequate sleep and quality sleep, but it's something that I've really tried to dial in, and it's made a massive difference in my rate of progress. I'm not trying to toot my own horn saying that, I'm just trying to say, Super subs aren't everything. You've got to have all the other stuff dialed in. It's so imperative, otherwise that stuff doesn't work anywhere near as well as it should work. In fact, I've seen some people that will take super subs and be in a caloric surplus, but their training's shit and they don't sleep enough. They, they gain fat and no muscle. In order to get the, the great results, like you really need to dial everything, guys, whether you're natural or enhanced, it doesn't matter. Just because you're enhanced doesn't mean you can get away with being slack with the other stuff. Oh, like I'm, I'm not natural, so I don't need to sleep because testosterone. It's like, no, you still need to sleep, you fucking idiot. So get your sleep, guys. If it's a, an area that you need to improve and focus on, then by all means, do it ASAP and don't stop working on it. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to say is prep's going well so far, guys. Four to five, a bit over five more weeks until nationals, a bit over four more weeks until states. So plenty of time to dial things in. I uh, definitely feel the deficit, but I'm loving the process. I'm loving the journey. So I had to check in today with my coach. Um, and yeah, progressing at a good rate still. And so, yeah, he was happy. He said, posing's improving every time I see you. Still getting leaner. Lower abs are really coming through now, that sort of thing. So uh, that's my problem area. My lower back's ridiculously lean already. So lower abs is the stubborn area for me. So that's definitely coming in week to week, he said. So he's happy with that. Uh, definitely some very notable visual differences over the last couple of weeks since we did an aggressive push. For my low days, I was 280 protein, 200 carbs and 50 fat. My high day, I only had one high day over the last few weeks and it was 525 carbs, 260 protein, so a little bit lower in the protein and 55 fat I believe. So a little bit higher fat, uh, a lot higher carbs on that high carb day and then slightly lower protein because obviously carbs are protein sparing, you don't need your protein as high on a high carb day and it kind of defeats the purpose of a high carb day is to obviously replenish glycogen stores, that sort of thing. And so you don't really need um, excess protein. Um, things went well. I uh, saw some good progress over the last few weeks in this aggressive push. We're going to do one more week of hard pushing, he said. Uh, so this next week is going to be quite aggressive. He's lowering my low days again. Um, carbs, I believe, are going down from 200 grams per day to 150, but I've only got five low days now instead of six. And I've got two high carb days coming up this week. So Monday, Tuesdays are going to be my high carb days because they're the days I do my heavy arm session and my heavy um, chest session and they're the, uh, the, the priority body parts that I've been trying to delegate most attention and um, nutrition or nutrients, I should say, uh, towards. Um, I really want to try to petition as much of my um, uh, nutrients toward those body parts and ensure that they don't get smaller and best case scenario grow through prep uh, all the way up until the final two weeks of prep where things don't really grow anymore. But yeah, that's basically where I'm at. So next, or well, from tomorrow onwards, I should say, 150 grams of carbs on my low days, 280 protein, and 47 fat. So fat's down from 50 to 47. Carbs are down from 200 to 150, and protein is still 280 on the low days. The high days, Monday, Tuesday, so two high days consecutively. Um, on my priority body part days that I train arms and chest, and they are gonna be 260 protein on both of the high days, 650 carbs on the first high day and 500 carbs on the second high day. And then after that, uh, after the next week, we'll review the results. If things are looking really, really good, if we see a very positive uh, response to this, then we're gonna probably trial a one day carb up again, but a very substantially higher one, talking a thousand grams plus carbs in that one high day. And then obviously the low, 150 carbs per day on the low days but I'll have six low days again if that's the case. And then we're gonna compare the results. I'm gonna take photos, check in videos, um, check in photos uh, at my fully depleted state on the final low day that I have, and then also 
after my first hard day, my second hard day, and then and compare the results and see which approach is better. But that's a wrap, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate the support. And like I said, any ideas uh, for future videos, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm open to doing like a 10,000 calorie or even maybe a 20,000 calorie challenge. Uh, let me know if you want to see that, like a post-show 10K challenge. It won't be immediately after show because I don't want to mess my kidneys up or anything like that. A few weeks after show, maybe I'll do it. Um, but yeah, if there's interest. And if you haven't already, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see future content, hit that bell notification. Uh, that way you'll actually get notified when I do upload new videos. And uh, with that said, guys, till the next video, hope you stay safe, stay strong, and peace.